good morning to all in this today's video we are going to see about the wheatstone bridge so this is the application part of the kitchoff's rule so kitchoff's rule yesterday we learned about that so first rule and second rule first rule current rule second rule voltage rule so here we have to apply that kitchoff's rule here so in this wheatstone bridge it is used to determine the unknown resistor there are four resistors are connected so we have to find out the value of unknown resistance value so here this bridge consists of the four resistors it can be connected as shown in this figure so p q or s and also the terminals that we connected that a b c and d and galvanometer that is connected between the terminal b and d so this is the circuit connection and also the terminal a and c are connected to the potential difference so here so in this potential difference the current can be comes from positive terminal and it goes to the bridge and in the a terminal it can be split into the two current value i1 and i2 from this, this direction and the current goes to the b terminal it can be split into two current value that is galvanometer current ig then i3 so then here the d terminal also goes through the this direction of current that is i4 and it can be comes and meet in the terminal c then goes downward direction and it goes to the negative terminal so this is consist of the wheatstone bridge for applying first rule in the terminal b and d so first for applying the first terminal at b so applying the kitchoff's current rule in junction b so what happened i already told you the first rule remember that so the sum of the algebraic sum of all the current values at any junction is equal to 0 so here the b terminal is there there are how many current is there 1 2 3 3 currents are there so towards the junction we have to take as a positive value and away from the junction we have to take as the negative value here only one value is towards the junction and two values are away from the junction so what is the value so i1 minus ig minus i3 is equal to 0 that is your first equation then goes to the junction d so the, for applying the same rule so here there are three current values are there at the junction d so i2 ig then i4 so which one is the plus value positive value so here towards the junction i2 then plus ig then minus i4 so that is equal to 0 that is equation number 2 so these are the two equation at junction b and junction d then goes to the third equation so now you have to consider the kitchoff's voltage rule to the loop we have to select the two loops for applying the kitchoff's second rule so for the loop of a b d a so where is that a b d a so this is one of the loop for this loop we have to apply the second rule here so first we have to take so a b d a first we have to take a to b then b to d then d to a so applying so you have to keep it in your mind this value only not this values are right so we have to take only that loop only so for first loop so what is the second rule the algebraic sum of sum of the product of i and r that is current and resistance that is equal to total emf which is present in the circuit so this is that is a second rule so here there is no emf in this loop so that is equal to zero so for current value you have to see the direction of current value also here so this one this only shows that it is comes from the positive terminal isn't it the positive value can be splitted into two then so it goes this direction and comes this direction and this finally go to finish this direction only that is clockwise direction but here it can be in the again so it is opposed that value so we have to take this value only the negative value so second rule applying i1 applying the second rule i1 p plus igg minus i2 r is equal to 0 there is no emf for the circuit 
So I1 P plus IgG minus I2 R is equal to 0. That is the third equation. Then, then take the another loop also. A, B, C, D, A. So where is that? A, B, C, D, A. You have to remember this value only. So not for that connection of G value. So you just forgot that value. You have to take the loop A, B, C, D, A only. So applying the second rule second rule here there is no emf for the circuit also so one of the term that is right hand term zero then you have to take the left hand term only so i1 p plus i3 q so minus i4 s and minus i2 r so this is the value for applying the second rule so i1 p plus i3 q minus i4 s minus i2 r is equal to zero that is equation number four so then, so next Ig is equal to 0. So the current from galvanometer is equal to 0 because galvanometer always shows the null deflection because of balancing the length. So that's why Ig is equal to 0. Always shows the null deflection only. We have to take the value. That is only balancing the circuit. So that's why we take Ig is equal to 0. So first equation what is the first equation? I1 minus Ig minus I3 is equal to 0. So this term is 0. Then I1 minus I3 is equal to 0. So first term will be, first equation will be I1 minus I3 is equal to 0. So I1 is equal to I3. That is equation number 5. So apply this value in also second equation. So I2 minus I4 is equal to 0. I2 is equal to I4. That is equation number 6. Then apply then apply in the third equation also. So third equation this term will be 0. Then I1 P minus I2 R is equal to 0. So I1 P minus I2 R is equal to 0. Then I1 P is equal to I2 R. So three equations that uh, Ig part will be 0. Then the equation can be rearranged like this. So then applying all the values in equation number 4. Equation number 4, the last loop, we are applying the second rule in the last loop. So equation number 4, here I1 P, so I1 P is there. So instead of I3, we substitute I1 value, instead of I4, apply the I2 value. So I1 P plus I1 Q minus I2 S minus I2 R is equal to 0. Then take the common values. So I1 for this two terms. Then I1 P plus Q minus I2 S plus R. That's why take the sign uh, that, uh, that is minus sign also. Take it in the common value is equal to 0. Then I1 P plus Q is equal to I2 S plus R. So this is equation number 8. So uh, substitute the not substitute divide the equations that is divide equation number 8 by equation 7 so equation 8 i1 p plus q then i1 p plus q in this side and what is the value of equation 7 i1 p so that is divided by that value so denominator i1 p is equal to i2 s plus r divided by i2 r so i1 i1 cancel i2 i2 cancel the final equation is P plus Q divided by P is equal to S plus R divided by R. So this is the value. Then we have to split that two value into P by P plus Q by P. So this is a common value numerator. We have to separate the two terms then this value. Then R by R plus S by R. So this term will be 1 plus Q by P is equal to 1 plus S by R. Then Q by P is equal to, you have to cancel that one value here also. Suppose if you are confused means take that value in this direction. So in this term minus 1 and plus 1 can be cancelled. Then Q by P is equal to S by R. So or it can be rewritten as P by Q is equal to R by S also. Suppose so this is the last final equation. This is the bridge balance condition. This value so what is the purpose of this value means suppose we have to find out the unknown resistor means we have to find out that value 
finally unknown resistance can be determined by this equation